Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Buck Let's Play coming at you once again. And today we are doing a little gameplay of the new map pack Die Rise on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So real quickly here, I want to turn down the volume on my TV. This is not the best way to record it, but since I don't really have the money for a capture card for my PS3, this is the only way I can do it, so I'm sorry for the quality, but... Hopefully it'll turn out fairly decent, but today we're going to do a little Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies, which is Die Rise, so we'll wait for it to create a lobby here, and it's ready. I'll probably do some walkthroughs after this video, but for now I'm just going to kind of show you some of the footage and just kind of talk as I go. <clears throat> It is kind of awkward the way I'm set up, but I'm doing my absolute best here. Because so I'm kind of sitting off to the side of the TV, and the camera is sitting in front of the TV. Okay, we're going to skip the intro. So here we go. You start out here in this room. You've got the Olympia right here. Turn on the power. Through that door, you can run through by the M14 and run down a whole bunch of stairs and eventually get to the mystery box, which is actually hard to find unless, you know, you do what I do and look it up. I'll give you guys a walkthrough of that. I'll probably do that um, instead of turning on the power. But anyway, usually a priority in this game is to turn the power on as soon as possible. You see these guys with vests? They take two hits to kill, unless of course you shot them like I did. And uh, when I first played this, there's a glitch. I was like not dying until four hits. And I wasn't playing on easy, I wasn't playing custom, but it wasn't normal. I thought they put that in the game. <laughs> but apparently they didn't, because now I do die in two hits. So for those of you that think they made it to where you are you already have jug basically it's not true okay first of all I I'll show you guys the mystery box later I might do it during this round but for now we're gonna go over here to this elevator and when you're by yourself it'll go down by itself But if you're playing multiplayer it won't go down unless everyone's with you now here's a quick feature in this room there's a series of keys that you can pick up and what you can do is you take these keys like here's one right here I'm not gonna pick it up but you would take it and you can actually put it in the elevator slot it'll make the elevator come to you now unfortunately it is a one-time deal so once you use it it uses up the key but it's pretty useful if you're wanting like jug to come to you quickly and you really need it there but anyway as you can see that was as easy as it is to turn on the power you just walk in here pay 750 to open the door and you've got the power on and then my next priority really isn't a priority and if I don't die here you can just jump down and fall down one floor and then here you are and it's kinda like a maze but anyway I've got it figured out there's two elevators over here you can ride them to the roof which I'm not really needing to here's where you build the uh, soliquifier the wonder weapon for this game it's pretty easy to buy most of the parts are they're either on this floor or the floor above you and in the power room so it's actually not that hard to find and if you get back to the power room you just need to clear the debris right here and you can take the stairs up and I'm not gonna do that right now I'm gonna try my best not to die maybe I can show you all where the mystery box is before this video is over with I don't know why I'm freaking out here oh okay yeah, we're still in round two, and there's a nuke, so we're good. And as you can see, the elevator just went up, so it's going to be a while before it gets back. This one's on its way down, but it won't be right away. That just means it's going to come down, and you have to be careful. Sometimes they can run up into the ceiling when you're on them and kill you. And there's Jug over here. This is a side room, so obviously here's one of the elevators where Jug is. And it is random where these perks are. So, I mean, they are all here, but it's random where they're actually going to appear in which elevator. There's a total of, that I'm aware of, one, two, three, four, five, six elevators. And, uh, of course, that makes sense, the number of perks. 
and they're all a little different. And this maze can get confusing sometimes. It's not really a maze, but just a series of hallways. And I find myself getting lost all the time. But it, uh... Okay, here we go, here we go, right through here. So if the elevator would hurry up... Oh, dang it, quick revive, or not quick revive, but insta-kill wore off. I'm going to go ahead and run back here. I know where the AK-47U is. It's actually pretty useful to have in situations like this. You're needing a weapon. You just run back here on this floor, and here it is right here. Now you try your best not to die. And don't fall off the side of the building. That's very possible. Huh. <sighs> I kind of like to build the wonder weapon first thing. I usually do that every time. It's actually pretty useful. It's actually really neat. And I'll see if I can try to do that. It may not be going to happen. Because right now this is actually kind of awkward the way I'm playing. And of course that costs a thousand to clear. I'm not going to go onto the roof. The roof can be useful sometimes, but I'm going to stay off of it. Uh, we've already, we haven't added anything yet, so I don't think there's any parts down here already. Whoop. It's best not to be building it while you're fighting zombies, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clear the debris here. And this part is always here. I call it the sock. That's a sock, so you just pick that up, bring it down here. It takes a total of four parts to build the liquefier, and as I said earlier, they all appear on this, either on this floor or the floor above you, and very rarely do they appear on this floor. They're usually always on the floor above you, but the sock, it's always in the same place, the place I just picked it up, right over there, and um, go ahead and get rid of these zombies. And if I remember right, yeah, this door's not open yet because I took the shortcut. I don't have the points to open it. The next parts, uh, there should be two parts since they weren't below me. There's two parts in the room where I turned the power on. And there should be a, like a bowl right next to the door where I turned the power on. And that's actually how you're going to build a liquefier. But unfortunately, I didn't have enough points to open up the door. That's kind of the problem with taking shortcuts. There's these stupid doors everywhere. They have to go through this door and that door to the right. They op they go to the same room, so it's not necessary to open one if you got the other open. See, this one's open now. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this over here. There's a bowl right here, and you take it, and it'll go. It'll fit on the bench for the liquefier. See if I can get back down there without dying. Oh, get back. This is usually when I get killed. And building it while fighting zombies is not usually the best idea. But now we're down with two parts. Okay, I'm going to run this way real quickly. So I don't feel like dying. If I had points, I could buy Jug, but I don't. If I had the Slokifier, we'd be perfect. I usually have it built by now, but I think that's just luck. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get back out of this hellhole. Well, that was close. Okay, come through here. See if we can get back up the stairs. We'll get these other parts out of the power room. And they usually, right here is a water bottle. You pick that up. And then there's probably another part up here, and I can't remember exactly what it is. We'll come back up for it. It should be up there, because usually it will be laying down here which I don't think it is down here so there we go oh get away get away get away be nice it's usually laying around here somewhere so let's hurry up get up there see if we can find it before the round starts I'd like to at least show you guys what this liquefier looks like and it usually is just laying around here somewhere on one of these tables and there it is. It's like a garden hose. It can usually be found on the countertop downstairs, but it wasn't there. So, of course, it was up here. 
making it as hard as possible for me to get it. And it may not be the greatest idea right now to be putting it on, but I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to take it. Here's what it looks like. So if I die, here's what it looks like. And here's what it does. They slip around on it. It's pretty freaking awesome. And I am probably not going to live much longer. Oh, you could slip around on it too. That's the only downside. Okay, I'm going to run through here. No, no, no. Run, 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 run. Okay. We could really use Jug right about now. Great thing is you can like leave patches so they'll slip on it. Okay, I know where I'm at. Let's just hope there aren't any. Oh, there are. Usually kills them in one hit if you actually aim at them. Okay, I'm going to probably do something very mistakenly and just wait in this room. Hopefully, Jug will come back down, which unfortunately it's going up. So, we'll see how long we'll make it. A great thing to do right now would be to put some Sliquid Flyer on the floor so they slip around on it. Which, of course, it didn't affect that one. Okay, reload, 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 Sliquid Flyer, Sliquid Flyer. Okay, this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> yeah, and it runs out of ammo pretty quickly, so you got to be pretty lenient with it. Now I've got all this goop on the floor that's making me slip around. I'm making it really hard to shoot. Okay, that was the last zombie, so if Jug ever gets down here, we can buy it. And we really need ammo, but I'm not going to go get any. Let's repair this barrier. And of course, here's a little demon round. I don't know what these freaking things are called, but... Slickifier does a pretty good job of killing them. So hopefully we can make it through this round. Wherever they decide to appear. Oh, there's Jug. We're going to buy it. We got it. We should hopefully be good to go for a while. That, it's very important to get Jug in this game. Hold still now, little froggy. I call them frogs. They're irritating little creeps. <laughs> Usually if you can get them head on, they trap you, which is irritating. This thing usually kills them pretty quick. And of course, just like the dogs, they give you points, and I just missed my ride up. No, oh well, we don't need to go up now. And there's our max ammo. Okay, let's get out of this room, and I'm actually gonna open this door, which actually is like right here in the room where you build this uh, slip of fire. Repair the barrier. Of course, this elevator's coming down, so I'm actually gonna get on it. It's pack a punch, luckily which I don't have points, it doesn't matter. Uh, here in a few seconds it'll go down one more floor then I can jump on top of it and it'll take me out of here. We have to wait for it to move. We got full ammo so hopefully we can make it a while. Okay, then out, down it goes. <laughs> Just jump up and down like a freak here and hopefully it'll move. Okay, and then it'll take us all the way to the top. Uh, right there was the power room as you saw it, but anyway, this is, will take us all the way to the roof of this building. And right now, I really don't know what to do. I could try to build what I call the boomerang. I don't know what the heck the official name of it is. Uh, and I apologize. It shoots you in midair. It's pretty neat. But uh, I just call it boomerang. It's not worth trying to figure out. Of course, we got the obelisk table finished, but no point really in it shouldn't get trapped in this room like I just now did. Oh, a nuke. How fortunate. Okay. I'm going to wait till I get a few more points, and I'm actually going to go buy a really awesome gun. It is actually like one level below where the mystery box is. So unfortunately, we won't get to see the mystery box by going this way. But I will get a really awesome gun. Okay, jump. Don't die. 
Now we're actually below where we started in the game. This is where you would build a boomerang. You're going to jump down here and land on these mattresses. Don't go forward. Go backwards. And then you're going to go down this hole. Actually, the mystery box, I'll kind of show you where it is, the general idea. And if I can get through the right way. Well, it's actually like one floor above us, but I can't go backwards, unfortunately. No, it's not one floor below us. It's actually right over there. But it won't allow you to go backwards, which is really dumb. So, uh, anyway. This area is actually the area you'll eventually get to if you open the door from the beginning of the game. Which I don't like to do, because I like to turn the power on as soon as possible. So you have to jump down this long series of dangerous jumps. And as you can see, if you don't make the top of that, you fall and die. So... But anyway, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully that kind of gave you an idea how to build this liquefier. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. So thank you all very much for watching.